Dysplasia has two main meanings. The first definition is the one that preoccupies most cellular pathologists, and this is disordered maturation of cells in epithelium. The alternative definition will be briefly covered later. This is normal non-dysplastic stratified squamous epithelium. The nuclei are all evenly spaced and mature and flatten off as they ascend to the surface of the epithelium. This is an area of the same epithelium but here you can see that the cells are not flattening off and they're not maturing. This is dysplastic and in fact it's severely dysplastic. So dysplasia is an alteration in the size, shape and organisation of cells and there is a continuum from mild to severe or low grade to high grade dysplasia. And the really important thing about dysplasia is that it is pre-malignant. One area where dysplasia is frequently seen is the cervix. In the UK this is referred to as CIN, CIN1 being low grade dysplasia and CIN3 being high grade dysplasia. In North America dysplasia in the cervix is referred to as LCIL for low grade changes or HICIL for high grade dysplasia. Dysplasia may develop in the mucosa of patients with long-standing ulcerative colitis and dysplasia was always seen in adenomatous polyps. This is a biopsy of normal colonic mucosa with regularly spaced normal gland crypts with small regular nuclei. And this is a biopsy from a patient with ulcerative colitis and the nuclei in these gland crypts are haphazardly arranged, they are varied in size and shape and they are undergoing a lot of mitotic activity i.e. they are dividing and this is an example of dysplasia. Dysplasia is pre-malignant. The low-grade changes, however, may regress, but high-grade or severe dysplasia has a significant chance of eventually developing into carcinoma. This is a tubular adenoma, and here you can see some normal crypts. You can see some dysplastic crypts, and elsewhere there is a focus of carcinoma that has arisen in this polyp. To complicate matters, dysplasia has an alternative definition, and this is an abnormal development of an organ or tissue. This is completely different to the type of dysplasia that occurs in epithelium and Importantly, it is not pre-malignant. In this context, dysplasia is a congenital condition and examples include fibrous dysplasia of the bone, renal dysplasia, angiodysplasia in the right colon and a potentially fatal condition in the heart called arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. Yeah.